In this video, I will show you how Python can assist us in testing listed stock prices without looking at even a single stock price. If you are an experienced auditor, there are chances that you have audited investment balance in the asset section of a balance sheet. How do we perform audit of a listed investment? We ask detail from the client that makes investment balance. That comes as a list of the names of all the investments, number of shareholdings, price per share, S at reporting date, and the value of investment. We select few samples for testing. We confirm number of shareholding or quantity of shares from custodian statement or any other similar document. And we check listed stock prices by going to our preferred stock listing reliable website. For example, in this case, I'm using Yahoo Finance. And then we search for the stock name, going to historical prices section, selecting dates. And once we find our desired reporting date price, we copy and paste it into our audit work paper. So we can compare client price and our audited price. And we repeat this number of times. Now let's audit using Python. I have a list of 100 stocks that make investment balance. I'm not selecting samples. I will test all. This is my Python code. Let's run and see how quickly Python can do it for us. around two minutes 30 seconds to complete the process and this is what it has achieved first it added a column named audit prices here with the prices of all these stocks from my preferred website Yahoo Finance by the way let me make a disclaimer here that this video is not sponsored by Yahoo Finance once prices are here it added another column for the differences between audit prices and client prices so I can see any deviation Another column that multiplied differences with the number of shares so I can establish the amount of the difference. Ideally, I should be multiplying it with quantity that I check with custodian confirmation. But for the sake of this video, I'm using quantity available in the client provided schedule. It added another column for any difference that is above materiality. So I should only be focusing on my time on exceptions now let's quickly have a look at python script that produced all this first i'm importing two libraries pandas and pandas data reader pandas data reader is the one collecting prices from yahoo server i'm providing my desired reporting date as it is a single date so start and end dates are the same i'm also giving my materiality number so the script knows which one to highlight as an exception. I'm loading or reading CSV file that the client has provided to us. I'm also asking the code to focus on stock symbols. To collect prices, we need stock symbols. Next, creating an empty data frame with the variable name data to store prices once received. This line is to collect data from Yahoo Finance and storing it in the variable data. Next, some cleaning and formatting. In the last code block, Python is creating different columns, audit prices, differences, audit balance differences, and materiality difference. And at the end, saving the file in CSV format with the same name. Now you have seen how Python can save you tons of time for testing your investments in a few minutes. Can you imagine checking 100 stock prices in 2 minutes 30 seconds?